Okay, let's let's take a look on how we can find the minimum maximum value, amplitude and period of a given trigonometric function. So, for example, you were given this trigonal function over here, whereby x is greater or equal to zero. So, how do you find the maximum minimum? Right. Since you will need to find both together, so we can do it at the same time. For sine function, the maximum value is 1, right? This is 1, this is negative 1. So the maximum is 1, minimum is negative 1. So this is for any given sine function, right? In this case, our function is sine x over 2. Okay, So we multiply 5, right? Because we have a 5 here. So this will be 5, this will be negative 5. Okay? And then we minus 1. Right? Because this is what we have, right? So if minus 1 means we have to do the simplification accordingly. So how can you do the simplification accordingly? Right, so this one we can think of what? Right, 5 minus 1. Right, this one will be negative 5 minus 1. So that's why this is your fx. Right, less than equal 4, more than equal negative 6. So in other words, so this is my maximum, right? So from here, we can know the maximum is 4. Minimum is negative 6. So maximum of fx, 4, right? Minimum negative 6, right? Because it's less than equal 4, greater than equal negative 6. So mean this is the maximum, this is the minimum. Okay, so we set the part one. Of course, you can do it the other way, right? So the other way is, right, we consider, right, the maximum value for sine is one, right? So the fx, the maximum will be five times one minus one. So you get four. Huh? When sine equal to negative one, right, the minimum, so it will be like this. So you will get negative six. So, you want to do it this way also can, right? So for me, I will do it this way because I, using this way, right, I can find two at the same time, and sometimes because you will not given the coefficient here, the number here, or the number here, or the number here, right? So sometimes you are not given, and you are need to, you need to find that. So if you are using the other method, you might have some trouble, okay? So for this question, both are okay. Amplitude. So amplitude is basically the coefficient of the trigo function. So that's why this is actually 5. right? Maximum is 4, minimum is negative 6. Then the period of the fx. Okay. For sine function, the period is 2 pi. And this is sine half x. So the period will be 2 pi over the coefficient of the angle here, which is half. So if this is the case, you get 4 pi. So the period for this function is 4 pi, meaning every 4 pi, this sine function, right, they will repeat by itself. Every 4 pi in this function. 